okay then good afternoon students so am i audible yes sir okay fine so now in the morning session we were discussing about the various systems of limits fits and we had just started with the types of fits the various types of fits so today for this class we will be mainly discussing about the various types of fits then the limit principles everything okay so so from uh, we, as we have started the module 4 within for two days so we were totally we were discussing about metrology what we mean by metro metrology in the, for the previous modules all we were mainly mentioning on machines machine types machine process everything so in this module we have just came to metrology where we will be discussing about the measurements principles of accuracy tolerance allowances then achieving tolerance then limits and fits so now we are going to discuss about the fit types so mainly the regarding the fit types we are going to discuss in the morning session we were telling about the what you mean by fits and limits everything then i have told you to write down the three types of fits that's a clearance fit transition fit and interference fit and what you mean by clearance and what you mean by interference all we have discussed in the morning with the ratio of fits and limits now we are going to set the various fit types fit types okay now we are going to set the various fit types so in the morning also we have a start with the clearance fit okay this is what a clearance fit says And I also shown the figure. I hope so. You remember? Yeah. Do you do you remember? You know, you know, if you remember the figure, which I have showed. For example, can anyone can anyone say? Isa, can you tell me what was the in the fits the clearance fit? What was the figure which I have shown? Figure example representation. Isa, K, are you there? Isa. Lisa, do you remember in the clearance in the case of clearance fit? What was the example for representation we have showed in the morning? I think so. Lisa is not available over there. Okay, we'll ask to Fateh, Muhammad Fateh. Ah, yes, Lisa, yes. Shaft and hole. Ah, oh, that's it. Shaft and hole. That's it. Yeah. The difference was the shaft and hole. Thank you, Nisha. So, in the case of clearance fit, it is an in the case of clearance fit, an air space or clearance exists between the shaft and the hole. Okay. In the clearance fit, an air space or clearance exists between the shaft and the, between the shaft and the hole. And such fits give loose fits. Then a clearance fit has positive elements. Mainly, clearance fit has positive elements. And then a clearance fit has positive elements. That is the there is minimum positive clearance between the High limit of the shaft and the low limit of the hole, then allows the rotation or sliding between the meeting parts. This is what happens. The one we have discussed, like clearance is equal to hole minus shaft, where hole minus shaft is greater than always zero, and hole is always greater than the shaft, so that the shaft can go inside and the rotation can take place. So this is what happens in the clearance fit. Like the clearance fit is the type of fit between two meeting parts. Here you can see the two meeting parts. That is the hole and the shaft, such that there is always clearance occurring them. So, in order for mating them, we should always have a clearance occurring them. In clearance fit, mainly in the case of clearance fit, the tolerance zone, the tolerance zone of the hole is entirely above the tolerance zone of the shaft. So, in the clearance fit case, that you can check the tolerance zone of the hole. This is the tolerance zone of the hole. Okay, the tolerance, the tolerance zone, the tolerance zone of the hole, the tolerance zone of the hole is. Entirely above the tolerance zone of the shaft. Okay, entirely above the tolerance zone of the shaft. This one is clear. Like further clearance fits may be loose, may be of loose fit, slide fit, running fit, and slack running fit. These are the various types of clearance fits also employed. Okay, it is uh, loose fit, slide fit, running fit, and slack fitting fit. So this is what happens in the case of clearance fit. This in simple words, what we can say is clearance fit occurs when two tolerance meeting parts will always leave a Space or a clearance when assembled. That's what we are told. Okay, very short form. We can for two more question. If you can write this. Clearance fit occurs when two tolerance mating parts with will always leave a space. That is the shaft. In our case, it is the hole and the shaft. Okay, that's it. So the case of clearance fit occurs when two tolerance mating parts Will always, it will always compulsorily leave a small space or clearance when assembled. 
for rotation then for ec entry everything then comes the in the interference fit occurs when two tolerance mating parts will always interfere when assembled okay, it will always interfere when assembled that's what happens so the case of in the interference fit it occurs when two tolerance mating parts it always occur when two tolerance mating parts will always interfere when assembled that's what happens two tolerance mating parts will always assemble when will always assemble when will always interfere when assembled that's what happens in the case of our interference fit okay in the case of our interference fit okay then comes the third one that is the transition fit okay the transition fit is it occurs when two tolerance mating parts will sometimes be an interference fit and sometimes be a clearance fit when assembled that is but by transition fit that is it occurs when two when two tolerance mating parts okay when two tolerance mating parts will sometimes be an interference fit and sometimes be a clearance fit when assembled that is known as transition fit according to the purpose it may be sometimes known as a mating parts sometimes be an interference fit and sometimes be a clearance fit when assembled that's what happens in the case of a transition fit okay so clearance fit interference fit and transition fit these are the main three fits and the various types of fits when combined then so clearance means waiting there's a space or a leave space space or clearance when assembled in the case of interference fit that is two tolerance mating parts will always interfere when assembled and both the combination of the two parts will sometimes be interference fit and sometimes be a clearance fit assembled this is what happens now these are the various examples of fit okay there are various examples of fit like c this minimum clearance maximum clearance allowances and all these factors comes into consideration in the case of fits like you can see here okay so here what happens is you see this is clearance fit where the uh, allowance is plus or plus or minus 0.001 and the uh, plus plus 001 clearance fit and in the case of interference fit it is minus 0.003 this is the range which happens okay so what happens is here is the shaft and here is the hole and again here is the shaft so in the this is what happens in the clearance fit okay so this shaft when joined this is what happens in the clearance fit and this is what happens in interference fit that's what we say and the transition fit is might be in both the cases and the combination of both the cases that's what happens in the case of a transition fit okay that's what happens in the case of a transition fit this is what happens like what to say minimum clearance maximum clearance allowance tolerance then maximum interference and minimum interference where in the case of clearance fit this will be shaft arrangement and in the case of interference fit this will be shaft arrangement this is an example this is a hole and the combination of both is we can say it as the transition fit this is what happened the case of the transition fit so always allowance always equals smallest hole minus largest shaft okay this is what happened so now now we will have a small discussion about clearance fit and its arrangements like in clearance fit we have all told the an air space or a clearance exists between the shaft and the hole such fits gives loose joint automatically such gives because it's rotating since it gives very loose joints then a clearance fit has positive elements a clearance fit always has positive elements that is there is minimum positive clearance between the high limit of the shaft and low limit of the hole in the case of clearance fit there will be two mating parts such that there is always a clearance occurring between them and here we can say a space or a clearance exists between the shaft and the hole okay in clearance fit the tolerance zone of hole is entirely above the tolerance zone of the shaft the tolerance zone of the hole will be always entirely above the tolerance zone of the hole such fit gives loose joint so a clearance fit has always positive elements that is the beam positive clearance that is the minimum positive clearance between high limit of the shaft and low limit of the hole then what happens is automatically there is a space it allows the rotation or sliding between the mating parts this is what happens in the case of clearance fit okay then 
there are various types of clearance fit which i have discussed before like loose fit slide fit or medium fit then running fit these are the main three types of the fits in the case of under clearance fit so the clearance fit itself comes under types of fits and under the clearance fit there are again three types which is named as loose fit running fit and uh, running uh, running fit and straight slide straight fit or medium fit okay one second okay so in the case of loose fit okay in the case of loose fit it is used between those mating parts where no precision is required okay in the case of loose fit in the case of loose fit One second, it's a small noise from the fan. So, next, sorry, loose fit. It is used between those mating parts where no precision is required. It is always used between those mating parts where no precision is required and it provides minimum allowance and is used on loose pulleys, agriculture machines, etc. This is what happens in the case of loose fit where it is used between those mating parts okay all basically we know what is clearance fit right again m um, can you say me in one word what is the main criteria for a clearance fit again m what is the main criteria for the clearance fit? can you tell me what is the main criteria for the clearance fit Agil, if you don't know, you can say, sir, I forgot, no problem, but still, you can give me an answer, right? Yes, Agil. Agil, can you hear me? Okay. Hmm, so, fine. So, like, in the, case of clear, in the case of clearance speed, there's a space between the shaft and the hole. That's what I can say, only the space, a small space. Okay, so now loose fit. It is used between those mating parts where no precision is required. It is always used between those mating parts. It is always used between those mating parts where no precision is required. Where no precision is required, then it provides what it provides minimum allowance. It provides minimum allowance and is used on loose pulleys. It provides minimum allowance and is used on loose pulleys, agricultural machineries, etc. That's what happens in the case of loose fit. That is, it is used between those mating parts. Okay, it is mainly used between those mating parts where no precision is required, where no precision, okay, where no precision is required, then it provides minimum allowance. It always provides very minimum allowance and is used on loose pulleys, agricultural machines, etc. Where we doesn't require high, where doesn't we, where it doesn't require high precision, everything. Okay, that's what happens. Now, in the case of running fit, in the case of running fit, is what for a running fit, for a running fit, you see. Now, here also in the loose fit, okay, here on the loose fit and the running fit, everything. So, where no precision is required, it provides minimum elements and is used on loose pulleys, agricultural machines, etc. It's the same way what we say in the case of loose fit. But in the case of running fit, for a running fit, the dimension of the shaft should be smaller enough. In a running fit, for a running fit, the dimension of the shaft should be smaller enough to maintain a film of oil for lubrication. It is used in bearing pair, etc. I hope so. You know what you mean by beer. What you mean? What you mean by beers? Okay. There are various types of bearings present. Okay. What there are various types of bearings present and shaft present. Like with a running fit. For a running fit, the dimension of the shaft. In the case of a running fit, fit the dimension of the shaft should be smaller enough. It should be slightly smaller enough to maintain a film. It's always to maintain a very thin film of oil of lubrication it is to maintain a very thin film of oil of a lubrication it is to maintain a very thin film of oil and lubrication for maintaining. then it is used for bearing pair etc 
okay for bearing pair etc so for bearing will always requires a lubrication that's what we say in the case of running fit okay then comes the slide fit or medium fit okay then comes the slide fit okay then comes the slide fit or medium fit okay then comes the slide fit or medium fit where it is used on those mating parts where it is mainly used on those mating parts where great precision is required where great precision is required okay it is used on those mating parts where great precision is required and it provides and it always provides medium allowance and it always provides medium allowance and is used in tool slides slide wall automobile parts etc this is what happens in the case of slide fit or medium fit like it is used on those mating parts where great precision is required okay it is used on those mating parts where great precision is required it provides medium allowance okay it provides medium allowance and is used in tool slides it provides medium elements and is used in tool slides slide wall automobile parts etc this is what happens in the case of slide fit or medium fit it is used on those mating parts where great precision is required it is always used in those mating parts where great precision is required and it provides medium elements it always provides medium elements and is used in tool slides slide wall automobile parts etc this is what happens in the case of this this all comes under which type of fit amit can you tell me this all comes under which type of fit okay amit is not available vishnu ap can you tell me this all comes under which types of fit clearance ah that's all this all comes under clearance fit now we are going to discuss about interference fit okay now we are going to discuss about interference fit okay so see in this slide we can see a figure in reference fit it is equal to minus clearance that hole minus shaft is smaller than the zero that's the hole minus shaft is smaller than zero that's hole is small when compared to that of the shaft okay. that's what we say okay so this is what happens in this case you can see in the case of sorry in the case of in reference fit a negative difference a negative difference between the diameter of the hole and the shaft is called interference a negative difference between the diameter of the hole and the shaft is called interference and in such cases in such cases the diameter of the shaft is always larger than the hole diameter in such cases the diameter of the shaft is always larger than the hole diameter that's what happens so a negative difference between diameter of the hole and the shaft is called interference okay here to us a negative difference okay in like here we come what we can say is it is a type of fit between two mating parts such that there is always interference existing between them that is the tolerance zone of the hole is entirely below the tolerance zone of the shaft here the tolerance zone of the hole that is always entirely below the tolerance zone of the shaft in the case of a interference fit so interference fit may be shrink fit heavy drive fit and light drive fit not loose fit light drive fit this is what happens in the case of interference fit like a negative difference between the diameter of the hole and the shaft is called interference in such cases the diameter of the shaft is always larger than the hole diameter that it is used for components where motion and power has to be transmitted okay where motion and power also has to be transmitted that's what interference fit exists between the high limit of the hole and the low limit of the shaft this is what happens in the case of interference fit now there are various types of interference fit okay now there are various types of interference fit okay like first one is shrink fit or heavy force fit first one is shrink fit or heavy force fit okay shrink fit or heavy force fit second one is medium fit and third one is tight fit or force or force fit so according to the according to the requirement according to the requirement we name it okay according to the requirement in some cases we name it as also light drive fit in some cases we also name it as light drive fit so in the case of shrink fit or heavy force fit the case of shrink fit or heavy force fit it is like 
comes under types of interference with. So we have discussed the types of fit where we have three types: clearance fit, interference fit, transition fit. Then we have told in the case of clearance fit, we have again three. Again, it is loose fit, side fit, running fit, and slack slack and running fit. Then we in the case of again we are coming with the interference fit where we have a string fit or heavy force fit. Second one is the medium force fit, and third one is tight fit or force fit. In the case of string fit or heavy force fit. it refers to maximum negative allowance okay it mainly refers to the maximum negative allowance so here in the case of interference fit we will be always listening about the negative allowance so here it refers to the maximum it always refers to the maximum negative allowance in assembly of the whole it is mainly in the assembly of the whole and the shaft where the whole is expanded by heating and then rapidly cooled in its position it is used in fitting of rims etc this is what happens in the case of string fit or heavy force fit that is it refers to the maximum negative allowance okay it always refers to the maximum negative allowance it always refers to the maximum negative allowance in assembly okay in assembly of the hole and the shaft the hole is expanded by heating and then rapidly cooled in its position it is used in fitting of rims etc this is what happens it is used in fitting of rims etc so this is string fit or heavy force fit maximum negative assembly assembly of hole in the shaft by holes expanded by heating then rapidly cooled portion it is used in fitting of rims etc okay rims the tires etc then medium force fit these fits have medium negative element here we have we all are negative elements but in the case of string fit is maximum and in the case of medium it is medium okay so considerable pressure is required to assemble the whole and the shaft in this case a considerable amount of pressure is calculated and it is required to assemble the whole and the shaft it is used in car wheels armature of dynamos etc okay this is what happens in the case of medium force fit that is these fits have medium negative elements considerable pressure is required to assemble the whole and the shaft it is used in car wheels armature of dynamos etc then we can say it is as tight fit or force fit then we can say it as tight fit or force fit where one can where one part can be assembled where always one part one part can be assembled into the other with a hand hammer or by a light pressure what happens we have a part which can be assembled okay we have a part which can be assembled into the other we have a part which can be assembled into the other with a hand hammer or by a light pressure when we can have a part which is assembled into other with a hand hammer or by light pressure then a slight amount of negative allowance a slight amount of negative allowance exists between the two mating parts a slight amount of a negative small negative allowances will be there it will be always present between the two mating parts it will be always present under the between the two mating parts that's what happens so in the case of tight force or force fit force fit one part can be assembled into other that is we can take one part and assemble it to other part with a hand hammer or by a light pressure by applying a small external force that was what we say with a small small hand hammer right pressure then a slight in the first case it was uh, maximum second case is medium here we have a slight negative elements which exists between the two mating parts okay in the case of fits and assembles the combination mating parts so exists between the two mating parts more than the ringling fit okay it gives a semi permanent fit it is not permanent it is not loose it is a semi permanent fit and is used on a keyed pulley and shaft rocker arm etc it's also used in a keyed pulley or shaft rocker arms etc this is what happens okay this is what happens over here and in okay and here okay this is what happens in the interference fit and these are the various types of interference fit okay so now in the various types of ring in the in, in the various types of interference fit it was like this was the fit now we have the transition fit okay now we have the now we have the transition fit where okay now we have the transition fit so in the case of transition fit it is it may okay it may in the case of transition fit 
it may result in either clearance fit or interference fit okay it may always result in either clearance fit or interference fit depending on the actual value of the individual tolerances of the mating components that's what happens in the case of transition fit it may it may result in either the clearance fit or on interference fit it may result in either clearance fit or interference fit depending on the actual value of the individual tolerances of the mating parts this is what happens in the case of transition fit like in the case of transition fit it may result in either the clearance fit or interference fit depending on the actual value of the individual tolerances it is always depending on the actual value it is always depending on the actual value of the individual tolerances of the mating components that's what happens in the case of transition fit that is it may always result in either clearance fit or interference fit it may always result in either clearance fit or interference fit depending on the actual value of the individual tolerance it is always depending on the actual value of the individual tolerances of the mating parts it will depend on the actual value there's a there will be specific value or actual value of the individual tolerances okay the individual tolerances of the mating parts then transition fits okay transition fits are a compromise between the clearance and the interference fit okay that is it can be can be can it can it's an it is an amicable solution for the fix like i like what you can say clearance fit is specifically that is, and the uh, interference fit specifically but it is a combination it can attain both that's what happens in the case of transition fit that is it's a type of fit with two mating parts where such that tolerance zones of the hole and shaft overlaps that's what happens in the case of transition fit okay so it's a type of fit between two mating parts in such a way that the tolerance zones will be having tolerance zones of the hole and the shaft overlaps and in transition fit either clearance or interference may occur depending on the actual size of the mating parts it is always occurring on the actual size of the mating parts that is happening in the, the case of that is happening in the case of transition fit so in the case of transmission fit it is like what it may result in either clearance fit or interference fit depending on the actual value it is always depending on the actual value okay it is always depending on the actual value of the individual tolerances of the mating component it's always depending on the actual value of the individual tolerance of any components then transition fit compromise between the clearance and the interference fit that way what we have discussed before this now now they are used they are used for applications where accurate location is important they are they are used for applications where accurate location is important but either a small amount of clearance or interference is permissible but either a small amount of clearance or interference is permissible but always either a small amount of clearance or interference is permissible then comes the types of transition fit okay then comes the types of trans transition fit okay so in the case of types of transition fit is push fit or snug fit second one is force fit or shrink fit and the last one is the ringling fit okay so in the case of types of transition fit it is always related to the push fit or snug fit in the case of push fit or snug fit it refers to zero elements it mainly refers to the zero elements and a light pressure is required in assembly and always a light pressure a very light amount of pressure is required for assembly that's what happens in the case of push fit or snug fit it refers to zero elements it mainly refers to zero elements and a light pressure and always a light pressure is required in assembling the hole and the shaft and always a light pressure is required in assembling the hole and the shaft where the moving parts show least vibration with this type of fit where the moving parts show least vibration in this type of fit that's what happens in the case of push fit or snug fit where it refers to zero elements it's very very huge zero it's a very huge zero elements and a light pressure is required and a small light amount of pressure is required in assembling the hole and the shaft it is always in assembling the hole and the shaft it is always in assembling the hole and the shaft where 
the moving parts show least vibration with this type of fit where the moving parts show least vibration with this type of fit where the moving parts show least vibration with this type of fit then comes the force fit or shrink fit where a force fit is used when two mating parts are to be rigidly fixed where a force fit where a force fit is used when two mating parts are to be rigidly fixed so that one cannot move without the other so that one cannot move without the other that's what happens in the case of force fit or shrink fit so what happens is like push fit or shrink like fit is it refers to zero elements and a light pressure is required for assembling the hole and the shaft the moving part show least vibration with this type of fit then the case of force fit or shrink fit a force fit is used when two mating parts are to be rigidly fixed so that it cannot move without the other okay it it either requires high pressure it either requires high pressure to force the shaft in the hole or the hole to be expanded by heat is used in railway railway wheels etc okay so here we have a external heat pressure that for heating that's what happens now now in the case of what happens now in the case of wrinkling fit okay now in the case of wrinkling fit a slight negative allowance okay a very slight negative allowance exists between the two mating parts in the case of a wrinkling fit okay a slight negative allowance exists between the two mating parts in the wrinkling fit there's a slight negative allowance where it always exists between the two mating parts in the wrinkling fit where it requires pressure to force the shaft where it mainly requires the pressure mainly requires the pressure to force the shaft into the hole and gives a light assembly it always gives a light assembly that's what gives a light assembly then it is used in fixing keys pins etc it is mainly used in fixing keys pins etc this is what happens in the case of a wrinkling fit so these are the basic types of fit which comes under the types of fit and in the types of fit again we have three types in that three type it is also subdivided this is what happens in the case of types of fit okay then the type after the various types of fit what happens is i'll just show okay the whole basis system of fits okay this is the whole basis system of fits okay so you see we have told all this clearance transition phase interference phase and here we have the hole and this is the dimensions where hole tolerance h11 h9 h9 this is the holes then okay this is the hole the shaft tolerances okay this is the shaft tolerances okay and then here again we have the shaft tolerance this is the shaft also hole basis system fits okay whole basis system whole basis system this is the this is regarding the whole basis system sit sit where you see this is the whole tolerance you see whole tolerances okay this is the whole and this is the tolerances you can see this is the whole tolerances where the shaft tolerance is the minimum interference and the maximum interference and this is the basic size and we here we have the whole tolerance and here we have the shaft in the case of whole tolerance and shaft tolerance then we have the shaft base system see this is the same the shaft base system these are the both common aspects where we have the shaft base system now see we will have a very minute example okay like given diameter of the shaft is 1.5 mm upper limit of tolerance is 0.03 mm and the lower limit of tolerance is 0.04 mm so given what was given all the three are given so answer is what allowance is what minus 0.1 m okay minus 0.1 m that's why upper limit tolerance is 0.03 and my lower limit tolerance is minus okay that is the shaft is going inside so it's what is allowance allowance is minus 0.01 and clearance is how much 0.005 okay limited the small clearance is the limit which is the 0.005 and types of fit is transition fit okay this is what happens okay this is what happens over here so this is the example a very small example where we have to identify the types of fit and regarding the tolerance everything so all this comes into action where means in the case of a combination okay when the mainly in the case mainly in the case of a 
combination mainly in the case of a combination where we will be having various types of fix and finish we will be having various types of fix and finish so here we have discussed in the in the, in the whole class regarding the types of fix and again the various subdivisions and types of fix okay don't go anywhere i'll just take the attendance okay